everyone knew that this season would be, would be special and it really is, but unfortunately on that way we, are, we have all expected. Yeah, well, it was a very special season uh, and uh, it was already special, uh, like uh, here in Russia we planned to have a shorter season before the Olympics, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. but then it ended in this way and I think it was very, of course everybody were mm -hmm. disappointed, but uh, it was understandable because uh, the situation with the virus was getting worse and worse and, uh, mm -hmm. and but I think it's uh, it was just um, it was tough to finish like this because um, and I think uh, many teams were building their condition to to the playoffs to probably to the final six so then it all ended like this way so it's of course it was difficult but uh, normal I, it's it's for the world healthy situation so yeah I think everybody understood it so well, nothing special from that point, but of course, very strange feeling to finish uh, the season is this in this way. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel? It was a real danger, or maybe it was just a prevent of from from the Superliga uh, bosses. Uh, and the second question is how important was the sickness of Erwin Capet? Yeah, I think uh, still the stress in Russia at that time was not so bad, and uh, and. Um, I think we all were hoping to. It was. It would be great if we could finish the season. But uh, mm -hmm. of course, I think this. Uh, what happened to Erwin? Uh, then, of course, I think was uh, also a big sign to mm -hmm. to to do this kind of decision. So we all understand, and I think for, for prevention for all the stress and that. But all all the other leagues were stopped. So it's uh, mm -hmm. stopped already. So it, it's completely understandable. So. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel? How will coronavirus change the future of the sport in general, not on, only on volleyball, but of course the volleyball is main uh, things for us. Yeah, I, I would even put it in the, in a bigger context that uh, it it will change the world a little yeah. bit because um, in these days that we are all um, staying so much at home and uh, we we start to miss those daily things. Mm -hmm. to, to, you can eat in a restaurant, you can meet with your friends, you can go like out. have a normal, yeah, go out, have a normal social life. So I think it can also make a world a better place because we start to value the normal things uh, that we can freely move and, and, and so on. So I think in, in from that point of view, it's um, it will uh, um, make us uh, maybe the sport uh, and also the sport uh, we all miss to go to the practice we all miss to see the games so i think it will we can use this uh, also in our sport to build uh, that volleyball is back again and so on I, then I think it's it's a common situation in all the world but how it will change the sport i think it's very difficult to say the virus is so new and the uh, scientists are every day uh, searching reasons uh, what will be the effect for for different blood types or, or just to put an example so and I um, think of course when the vaccination will be found uh, maybe the situation will be different but uh, I think it's very difficult to make any any like how it will be and for sure I will not make because I'm not the doctor so <laughs> I'm trusting and following the rules of uh, competitive people that are telling how it will be so I think we are all just waiting what will be. Mm -hmm. And do you, do you hear something about the economic situation in the club or the possibilities uh, with the lowest salary for, for players? Did you, did you hear something about it? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if we put it this kind of way, yeah, for sure it will, in, in the near future, it's already changing things. Mm -hmm. As we see in Italy and uh, uh, in Russia, probably in this moment, uh, still not so much, but of course it will have an effect, that's for mm -hmm. sure, in every everywhere in the world the economy is going uh, going down and uh, 
that's also one with the effect of the wider. So I think, yeah, in this in this way, for sure, it will change the near future of the of our sport also. So salaries will be probably less. Uh, and um, from this this point of view, yeah, there will be some changes. There are already changes. Mm -hmm. Now you are also the coach of national team of Russia. So how you plan this specific time for your players? Because it's not easy. For sure. Ah, it's very difficult to plan anything. So mm -hmm. we are just waiting uh, how the situation will involve and uh, everybody's keeping uh, themselves in the shape mm -hmm. at home um, as well as they can. But to to give any spe like very specific program what you what you should do. Uh, I think we will do that uh, as soon as we know that uh, the situation will be better. Then, then you can already plan something. But in this moment, we don't know if we, there will be any VNL uh, if um, when the club season will start. So it's very difficult to plan anything. And I think also uh, the players have so big break from volleyball so when we start we have to be very careful because uh, uh, such a long break from volleyball is also and, and to restart again there are risk of having some injuries so also the preparation when we can start uh, if we can start will be uh, uh, different and, and honestly from my opinion to play something without any spectators it's really it's very hard so uh, probably also oh, oh, would be nice to play with big crowd or maybe not to play but uh, but of course uh, to have some games to have some practice would be would be also nice so mm -hmm. difficult to plan anything yeah you you always put a huge attention of the mental things which happen in the minds of our players when you talk with your players, you see that they can be a little bit disappointed of the way that the, the season finished, or maybe you see the stagnation in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, I can speak about our team, about uh, Zenit here. So, yeah, of course, we were very disappointed. You could feel it because, uh, because we were... Um, uh, having a, we we had a pretty difficult time on in uh, after New Year in in beginning of February. But then we got back in in good shape. We playing good good uh, before and also the goal was to be in in good shape. Of course, like all the teams. So of course we wanted to. We we I think we had something to say in in final six if we would go there and maybe in Seb Cup also. But uh, then uh, also. The players, the foreign players, uh, of course, they were thinking also about their uh, closest ones uh, abroad and uh, and uh, the players here. So I think in the end also that affected the the healthy situation and that was more important than volleyball in that moment. So so in the end it was a big it wasn't a big uh, drama that uh, it it all ended it in this way. Mm -hmm. It's hard to push your players to work at home, or maybe they are so professional that it's not a problem for them. Yeah, I believe in I believe in this. Also, in this moment, we are not giving any any special. And we are not even staying so much in in in, in contact. And uh, also, I think for many players that have played uh, in national team years and years and and in clubs, so. Also, this moment is a good uh, good moment to, to to relax a little bit, not too much, and uh, all the professional players will keep their shape in a way that uh, they, they can. And uh, then, when you get back to to practice, it will be like a party. You know, it will be mm -hmm. it's like a kind of a new beginning because uh, such a long break. So we'll be very very hungry to come back to practice and. And do what we all love. So um, this is. Um, I think it's. The, um, <clears throat> I always like to say that uh, the things are how they are. So we would wish that they would be different, but they are not. So 
-hmm. So we have to adapt in this situation and uh, of course in Russia, uh, in Moscow, the situation is more critical. Oh. Then there, there, there's also more difficult to go out and maybe some have some walks here. Here still you can go a little bit, uh, keeping the distance, but uh, mm -hmm. it also depends where you are. So, um, mm -hmm. but also I'm seeing some videos and uh, the players are practicing and having having something, so it's, you can also put it uh, in a different way and try to be positive. It, it's a uh, mm -hmm. good moment to, to do something else to, to uh, especially I think the coaches that we can mm -hmm. reflect, we can stop, especially for me, I'm talking mm -hmm. so, so it's not all so that bad. So the quarantine time is also a good chance to finding some hidden talent. Did you find anything in yourself? Well, I, um, for me, like last two years have been very, very busy that uh, this uh, transfer from uh, Finland to Russian national team and uh, then uh, the first summer there and also the transfer to Zenit uh, St. Petersburg. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I think for me personally, I, uh, this time has been very useful to, to think. Mm -hmm. to, to watch uh, what I've done, uh, what we have been doing with our teams, with coaching staffs, with players, and to think what, what new ideas for the future we will have. And also think about my coaching, where I'm going in this moment, what will be the next uh, step and uh, trying to learn. And I'm following a lot of uh, uh, discussion of uh, different coaches and trying to learn and, and um, and uh, now, soon, yeah, sure, I will start to also to speak with players, but more and feel, hear what they are thinking, how they are. But uh, but for me, what new talents? Probably, I'm a better cleaner of a house. <laughs> I'm, okay, uh, I have to learn it I, too. <laughs> I, I, can, I can cook some better food. Uh -huh. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I I know about different more, know more about different cultures. I've been reading and so <laughs> so this kind of maybe some new talents of cleaner and and uh, a cook. I would say first. Okay, so after after the coach career, you start to be restaurant. You start to open the restaurant, yeah. <laughs> I uh, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, uh, Olympic Games will be played in uh, next year. So, for which team it could be a great situation, or for which team it could be a kind of problem? Well, that's a good question. Um, if we, if I speak about Russia, maybe for us, like we have. Um, um, one more year, uh, especially in the position of spikers, we have one more year to, because uh, lately, uh, for past years, uh, Kluka and, and uh, Volkov have been mainly playing. Mm -hmm. And last year we already saw uh, in Russian national team also during VNL uh, and during World Cup, we were trying to find some new players also, also for that position and we have one more year time and, and some players will play in bigger roles and so I think for us it's not not that bad and and of course but you I think all the teams had all plans done uh, mm -hmm. thinking about players so now the situation uh, changes and and maybe uh, we could think that um, some, uh, let's say, all the players uh, have one, one more year uh, load in their legs. Uh, is that negative? We'll see. But uh, for sure, also they will, I think for their, them, it's bigger motivation to keep themselves even in better shape to fight for the plays in Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. But um, but I think the teams like uh, we speak about Poland, uh, Poland has a uh, very good base of uh, players. They have a lot of players. I think uh, could be a good advantage for also for the Poland. But uh, and um, maybe 
like I saw also in Poland, the next year will be shorter, like we planned this year in Russia. Yeah. So, so I think all the teams are adapting again their programs, and uh, but it's very hard to say what uh, who will benefit from this because <clears throat> now we have one more year time, mm -hmm. and in one year can happen so much, can become new talents. Uh, somebody can really make a great season, then we have a, a, a positive problem to resolve. So I think um, um, the big teams, uh, let's say the big teams uh, that are many in the in Olympics, so I think uh, I don't see any advantages or, or not for, for the team, but I think for the Pol Poland, that might be the biggest favorite there with, uh, with Brazil. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> and with USA probably, so uh, I think it's also a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, before Russian national team, you was a coach of you know, Finland, but you start to complain about the comfort zone uh, which you created here. So you are a type who prefer new goals or maybe uh, more safely but constant job? Um, I think I was not complaining about uh, the situation. I just uh, having been six years the coach of Finland and uh, it was a great time. Without uh, like a, that team for me is like a tattoo, tattoo in the arm. Uh, I played uh, since '93. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, I immediately stayed as a coach, and I'm so grateful for all the people that that chose me and gave me the possibility to be the coach because. And after that, I'm completely gone on this job, and it's so interesting and and motivating, and it's a fantastic job, I think. So, so, but then after six years, of course, uh, it's a long time with one team. So, so, and then having that possibility here in Russia, of course, was a big, uh, a great challenge, and I think uh, impossible to refuse. So, mm -hmm. so I think. Uh, and for for the goals, uh, more and more I coach. More and more I love the daily basis job. I think uh, all the the teams, the results are built there. It's so easy to uh, to speak about the goals that we want to win mm -hmm. after nine months or something. How could we know mm -hmm. that what will happen in nine months? And uh, I think that road that that process is what we have to be proud of it builds the character and it grows the spirit mm -hmm. and then you have to feel that you deserve to play to win that you have worked so much as my idol Craig Popovic one of my coaches that I follow he says I think is a great great for what he says and more and more I, I do this job I love the work and I put huge attention on every day's mm -hmm. days work and then uh, the game is another story they can happen everything but if you are well prepared you have worked hard with big uh, attention you deserve to play uh, for the victory so that's more uh, how i think then of course we have to have a vision and uh, something new that is is uh, is out there far that you are going towards like for me olympic games uh, i saw when i was eight years old with my father the opening ceremony of los angeles mm -hmm. and and from that moment i i remember i told my father oh, that's my dream to be in olympics so there's something bigger but uh, the work is done every day in the gym so uh -huh. yeah. that would be like my answer for the for your question <laughs> okay thank you uh, so which what which uh, country is now now is closer to you, Finland or Russia? Uh, of course, I'm Finnish inside uh, me, and uh, all my my relatives are there. But uh, but I've been already so long time here in Russia that and I I like to be here for me uh, for my my volleyball and for my career. It's, uh, it has been always a great great place to be. So of course. Uh, I'm taking also the mentality of this country, but I think it's difficult to change inside uh, completely what you are, and it will never change. So I'm very 
proud to be Finnish, but I'm very grateful that I, I have the chance to to live and to work in in mm-hmm. in Russia. I'm very very proud of and and thankful for that pos- that possibility. Mm-hmm. When you was a player, you also play in Poland in Zaksa Kędzierzyn Koźle. How do you remember this time? Very very well, very yeah. very well, and uh, of course. Uh, Speaking about the games, I, I remember that series against Jeshu uh, mm-hmm. that we played for the third place. We were leading two games uh, to zero. Mm-hmm. There was a third game in in uh, Jeshu. Was it third or the fourth set? We were leading 23-18. We lost that. We lost 3-2 that game, mm-hmm. and we lost the bronze medal three games to two. Oh, wow. uh, that was tough. That was tough because uh, probably we could have the medal from from the league would be so fantastic. I remember that time Zaxa was developing and trying to be a bigger team, and uh, and now I'm happy that Zaxa is there where it is. So just I remember very well the gym and and the people and uh, and. Uh, Well, it was a good time, and the league, I think, in that moment in Poland was developing, becoming a better and better league, mm-hmm. and um, was 2009-2010, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, you got the World Championships uh, 2014. Yeah. I think that was a launch that everything went, uh, and the, the, the Poland is now also one of the best uh, if not the best country for the volleyball so mm-hmm. yeah that time that time i was i remember i was uh, trying to learn the language and it was not so far from russian language so there are some uh, many similar words so mm-hmm. i still remember some things and if we le- if i will be there two weeks i think i can start again to speak mm-hmm. speak yeah so maybe we should talk in polish no yeah. Not, not yet. Not yet. Yes, I remember. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, from... I don't understand. Yes. We can speak. We can speak a little bit in Polish. Yes. Perfect. Polish. Perfect. 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 Maybe it's better that I don't say them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so now it's clear. <laughs> okay. How many languages do you know? Because I know that you poly, well, poly, uh, you like to learn new languages. Yeah, um, I think I promised my father when I left abroad that I will try to learn every language uh, of the country where, where I will be playing. So. And I almost did it. Um, for me, it was also a big uh, sign of respect uh, for the people that have, have hired me and, and the culture that uh, hired me. So I wanted also to improve my knowledge uh, about the country and know the language. Uh, is uh, For me, it's very important. I'm very proud of that I can speak uh, yeah, English, uh, um, Italian I use almost more than Finnish uh, and um, and French uh, Russian uh, Polish so so and uh, Japanese I spoke in the end of the year there but I of course I forgot it because I don't use it but no I can't say that I speak Japanese so that would be five plus Finland Finnish Wow wow impressive impressive result. Okay, uh, so the, it's it will be it's time for the extra question about this these players in Superliga. It's possibility that next season we will have three uh, Polish players in Superliga. Uh, I uh, I am saying about Maciej Muse, Artur Szalbuk and Bartosz Bednosz. And I ask I want to ask you about everyone from this trio. How do you feel? Zenit really needs Bartosz Bednosz, or it's not the level for for the uh, I think I think uh, I saw Bednar playing last year in VNL very close he 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 was very good and mm-hmm. he has improved in more than uh, what he can do uh, he's a very good player and for him now to come 
to to Kazan uh, is a great challenge. Also big, uh, also good pressure, and playing in one of the best teams in the world. And uh, for him, is a great step. And uh, I think Kazan made uh, with him and Enkabet, they will have a couple of. Uh, receivers that uh, can play fast, can play technically huh? and will be a little bit different couple that probably like a big uh, physical players and uh, of course Bar- Bednarz is also physical but uh, I think Kazan made a good choice so will be a very very hard team team to beat and um, and then then uh, of course he needs to adapt in, in new culture yeah. Uh, 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 more than as one thing, Kazan is another thing. So I think also that will be a very like for all the players when you go in something new. It's not just the the, the volleyball. It's uh, all the atmosphere around the the, um, the way you how you can uh, adapt yourself in the team and uh, with great teammates. It's always uh, good. So it will be mm-hmm. interesting to see how how he will. Perform, perform there, but he's a great player, so I don't see any problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, many fa- uh, fans is afraid about Artur Schalke because he has some uh, healthy problem in this season, and they start to talking if his bodybuilding is enough for the Russian league. What do you think? How this bodybuilding and the uh, physical strength is important in in Russian league? Yeah, it's very important here because the league is so physical, but uh, but uh, it's not something uh, special. So there are physical players uh, every in every team, and uh, what does it mean to be physical? Also, <laughs> serve, <laughs> yeah, serve yeah. hard, uh, hit hard. I think there's always place for smart volleyball players, and Artur is. Uh, He's also a physical player. He's a tall player. He can jump. He can <clears throat> serve. But for sure, he can play in in a little bit different way than with or, or only with the power. So, and with some good passing, that can be the thing that in in Russian league all the teams um, need. And uh, I think for him, uh, I'm just trying to put myself in his uh, in his situation. So. After many many years in Poland, uh, you go into something new, in new league, um, new type of volleyball and environment. So it's a good way to improve yourself, not only as a player but as a, as a person. So for him, for him also, uh, it's a good thing. And uh, let's see in in what team and what what will happen and um, when everything will be official. But I think. So, yeah, also look for him, be interesting player for any team, so, <laughs> also yeah. class. so, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So I think for him is a good step and uh, for the year before Olympics to play, get some new things. So I, I'm not worried about his physical condition because he just needs to be healthy and, and uh, with his skills, he can make room for, for himself here. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I read any gossips about Mati Muse that he is between the sign the contract in Ufa Ural or Kuzbas Kemerovo. Uh, what do you advise him? Which club? I'm not uh, anybody to advise, so uh, <laughs> so I just uh, my thoughts are in 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 our team and in in Russian national team, but for him, I think. Uh, uh, he played a good season, uh, very good season. Hit so many balls, mm-hmm. and then and he's tall. He's he's uh, physical enough to be a good opposite in in Russian league. And um, Ufa had a pretty difficult season last year, and and to go there and to to get something doing maybe better than the team did last year. So it will be a, like a positive step, but and in. But in Kemero, of course, I was there uh, three years. It's a fantastic place, uh, great uh, crowd, uh, well-organized club. Um, that's what I can say because I know there. I don't know Ufa so very well, but uh, 
think whatever team he he chooses will be will be good for him to play playing good league and in a big role. The last question is who from Polish national team you want to have in your team in Zenit Petersburg if you have a chance to, to choose someone. If I could choose? Yeah. Mm. You have you know whole budget from from the every world. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so in this moment also, um, well, how do you want to know if there was nobody in our team or 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 um, like in this moment or in general? Maybe at first version in this moment and the second version from general. Uh, okay, in, in, yeah, in this moment, uh, um, who is free from Polish national team? <laughs> everyone, everyone. Everyone, everyone. is free. Okay, man, I take Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, uh, maybe Kubiak too, or not? Yeah, yeah, maybe in this moment, uh, maybe in this moment that also we are trying to build uh, our team and uh, we have also done some moves uh, mm -hmm. and are trying to do some moves. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll get our team closed in, in near future. So maybe in that moment, yeah, maybe Kubiak, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some uh, who can play fast, who can play great defense, uh, receive, yeah, 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 and with good character. Also, uh, yeah, Charles Bugi also is also interesting player. Slivka, mm -hmm. with with his skills to have like uh, these different type of players that not uh, okay. Leon is a big power and and was probably the best biker in the world. So. Mm -hmm. So of course he would be in any team, <laughs> great. But in, in yeah, maybe in this moment to have a different type of play would be okay. Then, if there was nobody, yeah, I think Leon is a player that everybody uh, want <laughs> would, would like to have. So yeah. I think it's not a secret for anybody. Mm -hmm. And from the general, from the every generation, from every generation of yeah. Polish team. <laughs> Hmm. It will be an old boy, but <laughs> why not? Um, well, I need to think a few yeah. minutes. Um, It's too easy to say from this moment, so I will say something. David Murek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He played really long time, so maybe yeah. it's still interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Thank you very much for the interview okay. and uh, your Thank time. You.